So hello, my lovely fans. It is another beautiful day as I welcome you to Menalize TV. The BC is over. We have already solved question number one and question number two. So today we are going to look at question number three A. So this is question number three A. We are going to solve it. Then after that, we'll look at question four as well. So the question that we have is given that A is equal to 2, 3, B is equal to X, negative 3, and C is equal to 7. Find the first one, the value of X if 2A plus B is equal to C. So that's the first one we're going to do. We have to find the value of 2A plus B, which is equal to C. So we know our A is 2, 3, B, X, negative 3, and then C, which is equal to 7, 3. So 2A, 2... In place of A, we are putting the values of A there. So the A is 2, 3. Then B, which is X, negative 3. All should be equal to 7, 3. So from here, what to do is, this is a scale factor. We use to multiply the coordinates of A. Then we add that of B to it and equate it to, a, to C. So 2 times 2 will give us 4. 2 times 3 will give us 6. Then plus into bracket x negative 3, which is equal to 7, 3. Those are the top coordinates of the x axis, and those are the down are the coordinates of the y axis. So, what we have to do is we take the top ones 4 plus x, which is equal to 7. 4 plus x, which is equal to 7. Now, we find the value of x by making x the subject here or grouping like terms. So what we have to do is our x is equal to 7. The 4 here will go to where the 7 is. Here the 4 is positive. Once it gets there, it becomes what? Negative. So we have the negative 4 here. So our x is equal to 3. So we have to find the value of d here, which is d is equal to c minus 3a. So we know that c is equal to 7, 3. And a is 2, 3. So now we have C minus 3A. So the C is 7, 3 minus 3A. So the A is 2 and 3. So from there what we have is 7, 3, then minus into bracket. 3 times 2 will give us 6. So we have 6 here. And then 3 times 3 will give us 9. So we have 9 here as well. So so what we have here is 7 minus 6 and 3 minus 9. So 7 minus 6 will give us 1. And then when we take 9 from 3, we are left with negative 6. So therefore, the value of D is equal to 1, negative 6. So we have the I, 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 which is to find the length of D or the magnitude of D there. So the D that we have is 1, negative 6. So to find the magnitude of D, that is the same as the length of D is the same as the root of, we take the first one, 1 squared plus minus 6 squared, the root of them. So 1 squared is the same as 1 times 1. So 1 times 1 will give us 1, then plus minus 6 squared. So minus 6 squared is minus 6 times minus 6. And that will give us 36. So what we have in root of 1 plus 36 will give us what? 37. So this 37 we have, we can't break it down. So we can say that D, the length of D is equal to root of 37 units. So we come to question 3B. A pointer contains... 4,500 liters of water and one fifth of the water is used for cleaning. So the first question is find the volume of water used for cleaning. Then after that, what percentage of the water is left in the tank? So the water used for cleaning is one fifth of the liters of water that we have in the tank. So in the tank we have 4,000 4,500 liters of water in the tank. So we use one fifth for cleaning. So that would be one out of five. One out of five times 4,500. So from there, we can say five will go into self once. 
and going to 45 nine times. So it means that 1 times 900, the same as 900. So 900 water was used for what? Cleaning. Now the second question says, what percentage of the water is left in the tank? So if we use 900 liters for cleaning, then how many liters do we have left in the tank? We know that the total liters is 4,500. So that 4,500 minus the one that we use for cleaning, which is 900. So 900 liters. So there will be left with 3,000. 3,600 liters. So we are left with 3,600 liters of water in the tank. And the question says, what percentage? So for us to know the percentage, what is left over the total times what? 100%. So what is left is 3,600 liters over the total liters of water that we have, which is 4,500. So 4,500. All times what? 100%. So 100% here. So 1, 2, we do it with 1, 2. And then when you do your calculation well, you realize that the amount of water left in the tank is 80%. So that means 20% was used for cleaning and then 80% is left in the tank. So we come to question number 4. So the question number 4 says that a, a woman borrowed an amount of 5,300 cities to pay for her child's university fees. If she borrowed at the rate of 8% CFO interest per annum for 9 months, find the interest paid. So for us to find the simple interest, we know that the simple interest SI is equal to you. So the simple interest is equal to principal times time times rate. So that is the simple interest. Since our principal is 5,300, the time is 9 months, and the rate is 8%. So we can say that the simple interest, SI, is equal to the principal times time times rate all over 100. The reason why we have the 100 is because of the rate. So the 8% here means 8 over 100. So because of that, that's why we have the 100 here. So SI, which is the simple interest. So the principal we have here is 5,300. And then the rate is 8 over 100 times the time. Now let's work on the time. The time given here is 9 months. We know it's not even up to a year. So we can write 9 days. So if you write the 9 there, everything will be wrong. So 9 months is the same as 9 over 12. So here 3 will go here 3 times and go here 4 times. So you can say that the time there is 3 out of 4. So in place of the 9, we are putting 3 out of 4 here. That is the time for us. So what we can see is this 0 will cancel the 0 that you have here. These two will cancel the two that we have here. Then, four will go here once and go here twice. So what we have is 53 times 2 times 3. So 53 times 2 times 3 will give us 318. So this 318 cities is the interest the woman will pay for the money borrowed. So we come to question number 4b. A farmer shared his piece of land to his three children. The first child had two fifth of the land. The second child had five more acres than the first. If the third child had 20 acres, find how many acres the father shared, that's the first one, two, the first child received, and then the number of acres the second child received. So we say let the total number of acres be equal to x. So if the total number of acres is equal to x, the first child is receiving two fifth of x. Then plus the second child, the second child is receiving the same and five more than that of the first child. So you can say another two fifth, then plus five, plus the third child, 
who is receiving 20 acres. So 20 acres all should be equal to x. So since you are looking for x, we have to multiply through by the xm. So So we are multiplying through by the SCM, which is 5. So we take the first one, 5 times. So here the 5 will cancel the 5 that we have here. And this 5 will also cancel the 5 that we have. So from there, we have 2x here plus another 2x plus 5 times 5 will give us 25. So we have 25 here. Plus 5 times 20 will give us 100. So 100 which is equal to 5x. So, here we have the 4x plus 25 plus 100 will give us 125 plus 125 is equal to 5x. So, we group the light terms together. So, what we have is 125 which is equal to 5x then the 4 will go there is positive here, it goes there, becomes what? Negative, so minus 4x. So we have the 125, which is equal to x. So it means that the father really shared 125 acres of land. So the farmer shared 125 acres of land. So that is the first question. How many acres did the father share? So that is 125 acres of land. So the second question is, find the number of acres the first child received. From the question, we know that the first child was given to fifth of the acres of land. So now we know that the total acres of land is 125. So to fifth of that 125. So 5 will go here once and go here 25 times. So 25 times 2 will give us, will give us 50 acres which means that the first child received 50 acres of land. Now when you come to the second child, so from the question, the second child received five acres of land more than the first child. So if the first child received 50 acres of land, then that means the second child is going to be 50 plus five, because the difference is what? It's 50. So you have the 50 plus five, So the 50 plus 5 will give us 55 acres of land. So let's recap. Total acres of land is 125. The first child received to third, uh, to fifth of the 125 acres of land, and that is 50 acres. So the second child received five more than that of the first child. So that will be 50 plus 5. That will give us 55 acres of land. So thank you so much for watching today's episode. Remember to subscribe to this channel, Menalize TV, for more updates. Menalize TV when the sun rises. Thank you.